couple of tough years for Boral, um, you know, six profit downgrades over the last two years. And we know we're in the middle of reporting season. We know uh, one thing to look out for in reporting season is continuous downgrades. So uh, not great for shareholders of Boral. Uh, returns being dragged down by their foray into the US, which was led by their former CEO, Mike Kane. Um, but Kane was replaced by Zlatko, a current CEO, and uh, then Seven Group started buying shares. Yeah, so Seven Group first appears on Boral's share registry in March 2020, COVID lows. Yes. Buying shares at like $2, $3. <laughs> yeah. Um, share price recovers, as most stocks did post-COVID. Um, and it moved into about the $6 range uh, and Borrell announced it was going to do a buyback. Yeah. So, um, you know, try and buy shares on issue uh, and drive the price up even more. Yeah. Um, at this stage, Seven Group's made, what, 3x their money? <laughs> yeah. Not bad. Not bad. Um, Seven Group continued to build up their stake uh, to owning just shy of a quarter of the company, 23.4%. Of the company and, and was really supportive of Zlatko, the new CEO's strategy of selling the US assets. So after six profit downgrades, I think they realized it was time to get out. Yeah. Um, so selling the US assets, slashing $300 million in costs and buying back 10% of the issued shares. So at this stage, seemed like a pretty happy picture. Yeah, yeah. seemed like it. Then they come in, Ren7 Group launch a full-on takeover bid in May 2021, and not too long ago. And that's where things started to really escalate. Their initial price per share was $6.50. They, they, they then came in raising that to $7.30, $7.40, essentially making it an $8.8 .8 billion bid on, on Boral. Now, the important thing to note here is that it was a, it was a takeover bid, so it was... Uh, nominally to take over the whole company and they would have had to secure financing in the event that they could take over the whole company. Uh, but Seven Group only wanted to get a third of the company. That was their original aim. And that was then to increase uh, the amount of board seats they have and I guess have more control over the direction of the company. But I think the interesting point about that is you have to do a takeover bid to get that. Yeah, it's some weird rule that yeah, you have yeah, to come I think out. there's a whole, yeah, yeah. whole bunch of rules which we're not going to dig into. No. But anyway, they, you're right. They wanted to take a bit more of a tighter hold on, on the, not tighter hold, but um, just get involved in the board more. Um, so Seven Group CEO, Ryan Stokes, was already a board member. Now, that, um, name, that name might uh, not ring a bell, but Ryan Stokes, uh, son of Kerry Stokes. Yes, son yeah. of Kerry Stokes, is a board member at Boral. Yeah. Um, so Ryan then essentially started accusing Boral of uh, s some pretty significant accusations around yeah. management of the company. <laughs> and and these, are, these are all allegations, it's important to stress. But yeah. he has, uh, from what was originally a pretty good relationship and, you know, Ryan Stokes was seen as quite constructive on the Boral board. Um, the Seven Group CEO has since come out and alleged that the Boral board has, I guess, acted poorly in selling the U.S. businesses at a loss, rushing the sale of the U.S. businesses. Uh, he's criticised them for guaranteeing the employment and long-term incentives of the CEO and CFO. He's criticised them for buying back shares during a blackout period and for failing to disclose material information about the underperformance of Boral Australia. 